Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Lionheart Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this luxury hideaway for sale in La Campagna Senese. Check it out! Ben ritrovati! The property that we're going to see today is only a 30 minute scenic drive from the city of Siena. The property has a more elevated position in respect to the rest, so it enjoys a breathtaking view over the whole countryside. The lovely Podere was originally built in the 14th century and thoroughly renovated in 1984 using the original reclaimed materials and putting extreme attention into each detail, both inside and outside, to accommodate one's every need. At the end of the driveway, we arrive to this point, and the only thing that comes to mind is, wow. With this beautifully maintained garden, a perfect mix between the English style garden and the touch of Tuscan nature, like the cypress trees, the olive trees, and the perfectly picturesque pathways, give it such a romantic atmosphere. Let's go and take a closer look. Now, let's go over the property's features together. It is 500 square meters. It's composed of a main villa, an annex divided into two apartments, for a total of five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. It also has a cantina for the production of wine and olive oil. It is surrounded by eight hectares featuring a vineyard, an olive grove, English style garden, a park dedicated to woods, a swimming pool with some bathing area, and a parking area. For those who are new to our channel and want to continue enjoying our videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Before we enter the main villa, I want to show you the annex. An interesting thing about the annex is that it was built inside the rock, as we can see from the stairs and right behind me. And as previously mentioned, the annex is divided into two apartments. The first is developed on three floors, and as soon as we enter, we encounter a lovely family room overlooking a brick fireplace. On the upper floor is the bedroom, while the lower floor is dedicated to the bathroom. The other apartment has a kitchenette, a bedroom with sitting area, and a bathroom. And from here, you have a breathtaking view over the surrounding countryside. The imposing entrance hall introduces us to the first sitting area overlooking a majestic stone fireplace. When furnishing the property, the owners followed the principles of feng shui. In fact, when we enter the property, we immediately feel a calming sensation and a little bit more balance. We can notice the Tuscan touches such as the wooden exposed beam ceilings and the elegant damask fabric on the couches. From here we have a breathtaking view over the pool and the countryside, which leads us into the drawing room. The 
The style of this room reminds me of a British country house. The sitting area is the ideal place to enjoy a good book or spend some quality time with your friends and family. It overlooks a marble fireplace and has a direct access onto the well-tended garden. Always on this floor, we have the dining room, embellished with fine finishes and elegant furnishings with damask fabrics. The choice of colors in this room is darker and the lighting is dimmer because for the owners, this room was meant to be used only during dinner time to enjoy pleasant candlelit meals. The dining room is directly connected to the kitchen. Here we have a spacious, contemporary, rustic style kitchen. It has a central wooden table and top-notch appliances. The countertops on each side of the kitchen are different. On the one side, we have a marble countertop with marble sink, while on the other, we have a wooden countertop. From here, we have a direct access to the external dining area. Let's go check it out. This external dining area is ideal to enjoy un alfresco breakfast while sipping a nice espresso. Also here, we can see the perfection in the details and the combination of the nature, the trees, the flowers. Ah, oh, it's like your own personal Eden. The immediate property has an anti-mosquito spray system installed. So while you're out here enjoying your meals, you don't have to worry about them bothering you. You can just sit and relax. From here, we have a direct access to the swimming pool area. From the entrance, we have an access to the guest bathroom and the upper floor. Immediately on the floor, we find the guest bedroom with its own private bathroom. Always on this floor, we have another two bedrooms with bathroom. This is the second largest bedroom on the floor. It has an impressive wooden beam and the view over the countryside from the bed is like looking at a painting. It has its own private bathroom with freestanding tub, walk-in closet and a marble shower. We are in the master bedroom. Legend goes that this villa used to belong to the mistress of the Duke of Volterra and that this was her bedroom. The room has fine finishes and features such as the white marble fireplace and elegant furnishings. I mean just look at this canopy bed. The room is exposed on two sides which gives it a beautiful view over the countryside and you can always enjoy a pleasant breeze. Other than that, the room is connected to a dressing room with freestanding tub, vanity table, and it has a bathroom with shower. Ma non abbiamo finito. Venite con me. From the ground floor, we have access to this cozy TV room which is connected to a home office. Both rooms have beautiful wooden oak floors. And from the TV room, we also have the spiral staircase that connects us to the lower floor. Let's go check it out. The first thing that we encounter when we arrive on the floor is this lovely summer dining area because it's nice and cool, so even during the hot summer months, it's the ideal place to enjoy your meals. The room is surrounded by arched French windows from which we have a direct access to the swimming pool area. 
But not only, the space is connected to the laundry room, the bathroom, which serves both the floor and the swimming pool, and a well-equipped home gym that overlooks nature through a large window to give that extra motivation. And this space transits into this gorgeous winter garden with large French windows that let in a lot of natural light overlooking the well-tended to garden and sitting area. I love this space. It's the ideal place to enjoy leisurely moments in the comfort of your own home. But now let's go see the swimming pool. Here we have the heated swimming pool with sunbathing area framed by the English style garden. During the renovation, the garden was dramatically landscaped, creating levels which were then adorned by English style garden taste. The owners put a lot of attention into making sure that the plants and flowers chosen were compatible with the Tuscan climate. For example, rose bushes, rosemary, lavender, jasmine, and sage. The cypresses and the olive trees give that extra touch to remind and emphasize the Tuscan origin of the villa. Hidden between the flowers and the plants are statues. This gives that extra touch of elegance to the property. But the truly mesmerizing aspect of the swimming pool is the view over La Campagna Senese that reminds us of a quilt. If we point our attention to the villa, you can really see its personality. With the gazebo with sitting area and dining area covered in wisteria and the exposed rock facade covered in ivy have such a romantic feel. For those who enjoy leisurely walks through nature, we are on the path that goes through the woods that surround the property and in 40 minutes you can go right around it. Inoltre, i boschi sono adiacenti al Parco Nazionale del Brignone. The property has three entrances. The first leads to the main entrance of the property where we were in the beginning of the video. The second leads to this shaded parking area that can easily fit five to six cars. And the third is used for agricultural purposes. Speaking of, let's go check out the vineyard. The property enjoys its intimate vineyard, from which it has an on-site production of Merlot and a cantina to preserve the wine bottles. Adjacent to the vineyard is, an, is the first part of an olive grove, part of the property, that counts 200 olive trees and from which they make their own olive oil. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I love hearing from you guys. On that note, ciao.